Uh, no, this is to train other. us to submit to being radiated. This is not under the re regular radiation laws. It violates laws. And, and think about the idiot TSA workers who are being backscattered by it leaking 24-7. Have you heard now they have 500 mobile federal trucks with guys with no shielding, with stuff so powerful it's 10 times a chest X-ray looking through your walls? That's Fortune. What? Yeah, the, yeah uh, pull up the Fortune magazine or Forbes. It's Forbes. What are they looking for? Uh, uh, 500 mobile uh, uh, X, they drive around neighborhoods and grids looking for your guns, looking for stuff hidden in the walls. And they just x-ray your house? They x-ray your house, hurting you. And, the listen, the idiot technicians... Oh, there's, a There's a plane, too. That's Wait yeah. a minute. I gotta know about this. Yeah, They're driving. They have the technology to just shoot an x-ray and a, you can take an image through something, like on the street? And it's at least ten times I've, I've had radiologists on, and major radiologist associations are sending letters to the government going, th these, these systems in airports are 50 times more radiation than what they previously said, New York Times. There it is, feds radiating Americans, mobile x-ray vans hit U.S. streets, and, it, and they got vans that look through, look, see the money and drugs piled up. And cars and trucks. Yeah, no, no. Guys, I want the uh, Forbes magazine 500 mobile x-ray vans looking through walls. That's still pretty yeah. crazy, though. Even though it says cars and trucks, they're just driving around looking in your car? The f what if you got a bad... It's Forbes, guys. Joe isn't going to believe it until I show it to him. No, 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 your car. no, no, okay, that's enough. 9-11 will change us. You guys are like demonic. All 9-11 did for us was kill all those people and give them a fucking green light. To, because they were, they've been doing it all along. They've been invading our privacy all along. But this just gave them the green light to go in our assholes and show them everything. They're on the line. They're going through war. There it is. Hold on just a minute while you're going down every list of potty words. Street roving vans. And uh, is that the uh, still the looking? Is at that cars. the Forbes? Yeah, print it off for me. It says houses. Ugh. I also have Fox News out of New York with the army running families and cars under it, radiating and going. We've helped do 2,000 drug arrests with this. Oh, well, how how are they able to just do that? Like someone has to give them permission. No, it violates the Fourth Amendment. But if you read the article, it says in there that they're also looking through walls of houses. It's in the article. <sighs> Wow, how creepy is that? I didn't know they could do that. I thought you had to be inside a machine for that to work. Well, no, you, well, no not if it's super high-powered, but I've talked to TSA agents, and then I confirmed they're going to put them in all the airports, they're going to make them mandatory, and they're coming out at all the major federal and state courthouses with the machines, but with these high-powered ones, they can shoot right through your walls, right through trucks. So they could be radiating babies and... No, no, here's the deal. People. They ask the TSA workers and the feds that drive these vans, they go, do you have a problem with the radiation? And if you say yes, they fire you. They can always find idiots that don't care. If you think them driving by and radiating your house is bad, it is, and violate your Fourth Amendment, your privacy, what about the, the workers in the trucks? They're not in lead shielding. The TSA guys all day standing around these things, they're not in shielding. In fact, bring me that group of scientists that sent uh, letters to Homeland Security about this. Uh, uh, pull up New York Times. Uh, uh, cancer risk from uh, 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 higher than thought from x-ray machines. Or, or airport uh, uh, scanners cause higher levels of cancer. And, and you'll get London Guardian, AP, Reuters. <clears throat> this is the University of uh, San Francisco, University of California, San Francisco, uh, to John P. Holder, an assistant to the president of science and technology. This is an urgent situation. These x-ray scanners are rapidly being implemented as a primary screening step for all air travel. And this is all the Ph.D. scientists, four of them here, and this is just one thing, uh, where they um, talk about how it's going to cause... There it is. Airport body scanners could give you cancer. Wow. It's uh, London Mail, <clears throat> Daily Mail. Um, no, no, guys, this is, I mean, look. People say, thank you, Alex, for being involved. Thank you for caring. Thank you for being out there reaching out to people. What am I supposed to do? I can't even take my kids to Disney World now because some pervert will want to feel them up and put them in a radiation box. The government admittedly nerve gases our troops, uh, admittedly shoots kids up all over the world with syphilis and gives them polio. This is all admitted, and we're like, oh, but they wouldn't run the al-Qaeda attacks. I mean, folks, none of us are safe. They're poisoning the food, the water, everything. This is eugenics. They are introducing binary weapons and degenerative weapons to kill the population. Diabetes is off the charts. Uh, cancer is off the charts. All of this is off the charts because they're killing us. These are eugenicists. It's all covered in endgame, Joe. You're really killing my high. <laughs> Such a bummer. You, Alex. You're high on life? High on life. <clears throat> you know, the thing about marijuana, you know, a lot of it's grown in these places using these fertilizers that are full of heavy metals. Which places? 
of the hydroponic stuff. Really? I thought the hydroponic stuff is all the indoor stuff. That's all with, I mean... Not if they grow it with the chemicals. Fertilizer, if they grow it with chemicals. Okay. But don't the, aren't the chemicals just to keep pesticides? Isn't that what it is? I mean, that's what you're talking about? I've just seen the studies. Marijuana is very bad. You think so? I I'm being sarcastic. I, I, I got paraquat when I was in high school. <clears throat> What's that? I was, I was put in the hospital. So the government would spray on marijuana. Spray on marijuana. I got that. I got that for 13 days. I came out the night Ernie Shavers fought, what's his name, September 78, 1979. Who? Ernie Shavers fought Larry Foreman? Holmes. Foreman? Larry Holmes? Larry Holmes. <clears throat> yeah, I got sprayed with that, so. Alex Jones, what do you say to people that say that the government didn't kill Kennedy? <laughs> it's a dumb argument, and I've been having it with smart people, and I don't like it. I don't like the argument. It's I, I always tell them read a couple books. Well, read Best Evidence by David Lifton. That's my favorite one. You know, it's it's pretty clear that there was some conspiracy going on. And it's pretty clear. What's this? If this guy just hands me a Kennedy thing, I'll say he's a genius. No, scanner vans allow drive-by snooping. Yeah. Yeah, and then it gets into houses in the Forbes article. Uh, but. But I'm tired of having that dumb argument with people where they don't believe that the government killed Kennedy. I'm like, come on, man. You really think that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone? And they'll start talking about some stupid <clears throat> book where this guy proved that the single bullet theory could have... The single bullet... They found that bullet on a gurney. If you look at the... And it wasn't even damaged. You yeah, shoot a exactly. bullet through a bone, it's going to be deformed. But right. let me go back and answer your question since you bring this up. I have interviewed all the main experts. I've been there many times. I'm from Dallas. I was born in Parkland where they brought Kennedy. There's so much evidence, it makes your head spin. But now E. Howard Hunt, who, who uh, Ethan Hunt in the Mission Impossible is, uh, is, is named after, he was the head of black op assassination squads on record in over 10 countries. Well, he now admitted on his deathbed that he ran the operation in Dallas and that the orders came from LBJ, who had orders up above him. But then you look at all these so-called so scientist shows, I've interviewed people. They don't set it up where they shoot the dummy with the green jelly in its head on History Channel. They don't shoot the dummy from the same spot where the person shot. They lie and say the trees were cut. They say he could shoot three times in six seconds and be able to aim. It was all a setup. But then you have other pieces of evidence. Well, even if he could, the only reason why they wanted to say that he shot three times is because they had to account for three bullets because they had that one that ricocheted off the curbstone underneath the overpass. When they, when they, but listen, they, had they killed hundreds of witnesses. Bullets. There were people in trains and behind it. They saw the men in the green pickup truck. They saw them shooting. I mean, the, the cops ran up to the grassy knoll. There's photos of the plumes of smoke. People took, you see men, you know, in the silhouettes with guns, and all those people were killed.